This time, we will create a circular curl noise effect using the Niagara system. First, create a Niagara system. Then add an empty emitter and create it. Next, we create a spawn rate to set the amount of particles being spawned. Next, in emitter properties, set the sim target to GPU and check fix bounds to enable rendering of large amounts of particles. Next, create a torus location from the particle spawn. And set a value for radius so that the particle will spawn in a torus shaped position. After setting lifetime of initialized particle to random, set min and max values. Next, set the sprite size to random uniform, and then set the min and max values. Now you can see the particle appearing as a torus model. Next, create a curl noise force. After setting the strength and frequency values of the curl noise force, set the quality to ultra. And if you set the Y value after checking the pan noise field, the particles are scattered randomly. Next, create another curl noise force and set the same settings as the previously created curl noise force node, but with different values. Now, particles are scattered randomly by the curl noise modules. Next, create a vortex velocity and a vortex force. And set the parameters of the created vortex modules as in the video. Next, create a drag to give resistance to the movement of the particle so that it moves more naturally. Create a color module to set the particle color. And set curve to change the color according to the particle's lifetime. When finished, save and return to the content browser. Now, when you place the Niagara system you've created so far in your level, you'll see circular curl noise particles.